first of all, let us introduce you to a lady that you probably already know, but she's going to be starring in a new upcoming primetime soap opera called The Hamptons, which uh, has got a real strange time slot, a good time slot. Bibi Bash, it's nice to see you. Oh, it's nice to be here. What is the time slot? Oh, it's a good time slot. It's a great time slot. It's 9 p.m. on Wednesdays, starting this Wednesday, July 27th, between The Fall Guy and Dynasty. Yeah, so you can't beat Couldn't that. Couldn't be better. Couldn't beat that. <laughs> you are not new to soap operas. No, no, I'm not. I remember you from The Secret Storm. That's right. About 20 years ago. In fact, Gloria Monti, who is the executive producer, was the director on The Secret Storm. And uh, here I am, 20 years later, working with Gloria again. It's a little different, though, now. Uh, well, it, when I started on The Secret Storm, it was live. And uh, so there certainly is a difference between uh, what we're doing now and the live days when the sets fell down. <laughs> but there really weren't, we were talking about this downstairs, there really weren't any sets. Those were in the days. Oh, no, that's of, right. Those were the days of the black walls. That's right. They, the, they had velour, black velour curtains, and they hung uh, the pictures on the velour. Well, that way you can change the rooms around very, very easily. Very easy, yes. Now, we want to show you just how things have changed because we've got a clip from the Hamptons. Uh, which shows you uh, there's a little little more money behind this show than uh, back in the Secret Storm mm -hmm. days. So why, why don't we, uh, your character is who? Adrian. 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 Just the way you say that. Even. Yes. Adrian <laughs> Mortimer. Okay. And she comes in talking with her daughter in this? Yes. Okay, here's Adrian and her daughter from the Hamptons. Mm -hmm. Well, the Hamptons, of course, is a big vacation spot in New York. Indeed it is. Yes. Beautiful, uh, very exclusive, rich. Where, uh, where all the money people hang out. That's right. And somehow now, uh, out here, they picked on Malibu for a short-running... That's right. I don't That's know, we right. can't call it a soap opera, but it was a short mini-series. Well, the thing, very mini the thing about the Hamptons is there is an allure about the Hamptons. It's the, the rich that you have to be born into. You can't make enough money to be accepted there. You have to be born into it. Hmm. And what kind of line of, wor line of work is you, your family in? Well, my father... <laughs> I, mean, just look, I haven't talked all weekend. <laughs> my father started a uh, department store chain, and they have them all over the place. And what was my grandfather, my father? Were you any relation to the, uh, the Tyrrells and the Secret Storm when they owned the department? <laughs> that, they owned the, that was the whole thing in that show. They were rich because they had a department store. That's true. No, I yeah. guess the department store theme is a popular one. I guess so. Back to it again. Is this going to be more racy than, say, Dynasty, which follows you? I, it'll be very racy. It has some things in it that Dynasty does not have. Like and you'll what? have to watch. I mean, <laughs> because, you you'll know, they kind of get into watch. everything. No, there. no, 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 no. You'll you have found to found some new ones. See. Yes, indeed. It must be interesting to see how the soaps have changed in all these years. Uh, yes. what, was the, what was the seediest thing you did on The Secret Storm, or maybe the, the seediest thing that was going on? In, in well, Hoover's? I was raped by my brother-in-law once, on camera. Back then? Yes. The interesting, no, this was actually, this was on, uh, this was on Love is a Many Splendor Thing. It was fascinating when I did it, because they had a censor come on the set. And they allowed that I would be raped by my brother-in-law. That was okay. But the amount of clothes I had on, you wouldn't believe. I had underwear, a slip, a nightgown, and a negligee over the whole thing. And they wanted to rip the sleeve of the negligee to indicate that I had struggled. Just, just that much <laughs> naked thing. The censor would not go for it. No, no naked shoulder. The, the rape was okay. But, but, but now, no naked shoulder. But you had all the clothes on, so it was a half-hour show. Yes. You know. <laughs> it's true. But see, nowadays, of course, that's no big deal. No, but yeah. it was then. Do you still have censors on the show? Now they sit at uh, the networks. Oh, sure. But uh, they're not there in the studio with you. No, they're not. But, but yeah. you know, it's very interesting about censors. When they write a script, they'll write in many more racy things, dialogue and events, than will actually be on the air. And the reason they do it is so they have a bargaining power. They say, okay, well, I'll trade you one damn for two hells. Or oh. I'll trade you this for I'll trade you that. Oh, I never knew that. Yeah, isn't that interesting? We had somebody on here one time that talked about the fact that they had their mail was censored. Somebody at the, uh, the production company would censor it so they wouldn't get oh, really? bad mail. Yes, they do, because there's some very strange people to write yeah. in sometimes. Yeah. With Is strange requests. You have gone into films and other television shows mm -hmm. since the, the days when you did the soap operas before. Mm -hmm. 
Is it hard to break that mold? The soap mold? It's hard to break it some in other people's minds. Uh, because people tend to want to put you into a certain category where they know that they can sell you. And if they know they can sell you on a soap opera, that's where they like to keep you. And it, it is hard to change people's minds about, well, I'm not just a soap actress. I'm an actress who happens to be working on a soap. Yeah, so that's the hardest thing. Perfect example is like uh, Jeannie Francis on General Hospital and Tony Geary. Yes. And, you know, they were on the cover of Time. and they yes. got to be, Everybody watched that show. But they're still on soaps. Yeah. Well, Jeannie made an attempt to get into a nighttime soap, That's true. which didn't do too well. That's true. But you'll do fine in the Hamptons. Oh, I think it's going to yeah. be a good show. It's nice meeting. Nice Can to meet you. Can you stay for a little bit? Sure. Okay. B.B. Bash in the Hamptons. Next, Frank Stallone from Staying Alive. Hold up the album. There it is. We'll be right back. <laughs>